Nothing used to say luxury getaway like a vacation to beautiful Acapulco, Mexico. And no one loved Acapulco more than Hollywood. It was a place where all the stars used to flock to, from Frank Sinatra to the Kennedys to even Elvis. Acapulco was Hollywood's playground. But then the cartels came in and the celebrities booked trips to Monaco and St. Bart's. And Mexico was forced to start selling itself at a discount. They went from catering to the rich and famous to hosting spring break. <laughs> now, if you were going down to Panama City Beach, all you had to worry about was waters. But if you're going to go to Mexico, you're walking into a war zone. If you think the Mexican government's going to protect an 18-year-old from the University of Alabama, good luck. They're on their own. The only thing protecting college kids in Mexico is the security at the Ritz-Carlton. And some of the hottest spring break locations are smack dab in the middle of cartel territory. Like Cabo, which is right in the middle of the Sinaloa cartel's turf. Puerto Vallarta is controlled by the Jalisco cartels. And the Juarez cartel owns Cancun and Rivera Maya. Hey, Susie, your mother and I thought you should bring down some traveler's checks, you know, just in case you need to pay off your kidnappers. And if you leave the resort, you're out of the will. In Acapulco, tourists were sipping pina coladas when three butchered bodies washed up on the shore. Hey, honey, is that a dolphin? No, dear. Let's head back to the room. And sometimes it rains lead during happy hour. The shootout in Mexico had guests at a five-star resort jumping for cover. Authorities say it involved two rival gangs on a beach near Cancun yesterday, leaving two suspected drug dealers dead. So that was a five-star resort. Can you imagine the spray bullets at a three-star where college kids can afford? So the question Americans are asking themselves tonight is, is spring break safe? Moms, dads, sons and daughters all asking the same question. We report, you decide. Primetime's issuing a travel advisory to all of Mexico. Our neighbors can't be trusted. I'm not vacationing in a failed narco state if there's other options. Minnie Madoff tells me the Bahamas are nice, and it's a shorter flight. The only crime down there is white collar. The solution is to stop using so much cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine's the second most popular drug in the United States behind cannabis. It's a party drug. Women go crazy over it. Men too. So while we all try cutting down on the blow, we need an immediate solution. The human trafficking is making more money for the cartels than the cocaine trafficking. So if Biden could control the border, he'd cut cartel profits in half. So until Joe Biden either gets Hunter to stop doing so much coke or shuts down the border, spring breakers, you're on your own. No hay ningún problema para viajar por México con seguridad. Es más seguro México que Estados Unidos. Tú necesitas un psicoanálisis. 